Hello children, let's start the first chapter, Mesopotamian Civilization. In this chapter, we will learn about Mesopotamian Civilization. How do we come to know about it? That means its sources, its origin, its cities, social classes, religion, occupation, trade, commerce, its major achievements and its decline also. So before we start the chapter, you should know what is civilization. The meaning of civilization is a society which has its own highly developed culture and way of life. Okay, any society that has got its own way of life and a developed culture is known as civilization. And in your book, if you see to page number 9, a detailed information is given about what is civilization. As per your book, this word civilization comes from the Latin word civitas. And civitas which means city. The city is derived from, a, sorry, civilization is word is derived from the Latin word civitas and meaning of civitas is city. And a civilization has following features. People live in town and cities. There should be trade between far flung areas. Okay. And written language should also exist. Why? Why written language is necessary? Because people always want to transfer their culture from one hand to another. Means for the coming generation, how they will come to know what our forefathers followed so there should be written piece of information that's why written language is compulsory to exist then there should be economic division also in society and social division is also necessary and government exists to maintain law and order and different religious beliefs and art forms exist if you see on page number eight now you will see a map there and in that map four different civilizations are marked now starting from the left egypt egyptian civilization mesopotamian civilization indus valley civilization and chinese civilization all these civilization arose somewhere near the river only if you see the egyptian civilization is developed around Nile River and Mesopotamian civilization is uh, is there near between and around the Tigris and Euphrates and Indus Valley civilization is near Indus River and Chinese civilization near Huangho River okay now see because these civilization arose near river this these civilizations are also called early river valley civilization okay these civilization arose near rivers so these civilizations are called early river valley civilization so why these civilizations are somewhere around the rivers only? Why? Because it was easy to provide sufficient water to the people. Easily water was available. And as you have read in science that water is very important element to grow crops. So water was very easily available for people also and for growing crops also and soil never near the river children is very fertile so it was very easy to grow crops for them okay and river also served as means of transport they and now when you will read the chapter further you will understand how they transferred goods from one place to another and how they transferred these goods they used river as a means of transport and these civilization used bronze to make tools and other implements so this civilization are also called 
ब्रॉन्ज एज सिविलाइजेशन दीज सिविलाइजेशन आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ब्रॉन्ज एज सिविलाइजेशन नाउ यू नो दैट दीज सिविलाइजेशन बिकॉज दे आर रोज नियर द रिवर सो दे कॉल्ड अर्ली रिवर सिविलाइजेशन एंड बिकॉज दे यूज ब्रॉन्ज to make tools they are also known as bronze age civilization now these civilizations arose somewhere near about 2500 before christ era and in the map if you see this iraq portion this is only mesopotamia okay and euphrates and tigris rivers also you can see there this modern iraq was mesopotamia now now you know that all the civilizations arose somewhere near the river only all these civilizations were having something in common and also they developed their own unique characteristics okay now we will start about particularly the mesopotamian civilization so mesopotamia is the land between tigris and euphrates river and it is called cradle of civilization why it is called cradle of civilization because it is believed that civilization emerged from here it grew here it began here okay so it is said that mesopotamian civilization particularly only this civilization i am talking about mesopotamian civilization is cradle of civilization why because it is believed that civilization the complex urban civilization is believed to be emerged here and it, it included the regions of sumer akkad babylonia and assyria how do we come to know about these things what were the sources so sources were archaeological and literary both i have already told you what is archaeological source and what is literary source you can check if you don't remember in the previous video you can go and check so archaeological source and literary source both are the sources for us to know about mesopotamian civilization what are these so as the ziggurat at ur and the seals now what is ziggurat ziggurat is a rectangular stepped tower building okay rectangular stepped stepped means it has got stairs on it and it it is a tower building okay tower means building and it was surmounted by a temple it had a temple on it and on page number 11 you can see its picture also this is an image of ziggurat now what is seal this is seal children it is a device for making an impression in wax clay paper and today also you must have seen this stamping stamping you must have seen people doing stamping to make the paper authenticate right so the purpose was to authenticate a document such as a modern envelope okay and different civilization had different images on this seal and it revealed a lot about their culture and literary sources such as epic of gilgamesh literary means written hand written specially now what is meaning of epic epic means very long and exciting like mahabharat is an epic okay long and exciting and uh, gilgamesh was a king he was a legendary king of sumerian city you have now seen the sumer in the map you can check so he was so he was a king of sumerian city okay and now epic of gilgamesh this is a poem a book that contains poem and it is also one of the oldest religious texts 
now remaining part i will record in my next video and children please do read the chapters nicely so that you can understand more about it each and every line is very important once you read the chapter try to do the exercises by your own and i will also give you the answers but it's very important that you do the exercises by your own to check your understanding and don't forget to learn the highlighted words like on page number 8 bronze age civilization so you should know what is bronze age civilization and the blue color highlighted word you can see there settlements on page number 12 new words are written there please learn it children it's very important thank you